A local woman is about to hit the international stage as she prepares uh, for 2012 in London. That's right. It's an Olympic-sized dream that has come true for one young local athlete. As WHAS 11's Brooke Katz explains, her story is one that is sure to inspire you. Ideally, you should be in like, like they want me to be in the gym. Oops, I'm sliding. Oksana Masters has been training for her Olympic dreams for oh, we'll six see. years. I can make it like a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> now, her dream is coming true as she gets ready to go to London. But she's not your typical athlete. Wow. Ah! More difficult. My leg. <laughs> my leg likes to fall off. Masters has no legs. I was born with my legs, but they were just like so ve severely the forms that they need to be amputated. The 22-year-old has been rowing since 2002. After competing in Serbia just this month, she's now qualified for the Paralympic Games in London. When you found out you qualified for the Paralympics, what did you think? Um, like the minute we won? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I was thinking that was the best pain of my life I could have ever been in. Mm -hmm. Oksana was born in the Ukraine with multiple birth defects, a result of radiation poisoning from the Chernobyl nuclear accident. Abandoned at birth and placed in an orphanage, Oksana was adopted and brought to the States when she was seven years old. I've always been very, very feisty and stubborn, so whenever someone said me, told me no, and it's still to this day, I have to prove them wrong or do it myself. After trying her hand at several sports, she was introduced to rowing in Louisville's Adaptive Rowing Club. The young athlete flourished. It's something for me, it's helped me actually heal through some of the things I've gone through too. I've said all along and I've always believed in all along is you never know what you're capable of until you try it. It's that fighting spirit she's hoping will carry her all the way to the gold. You can also follow along with Oksana as she prepares for this journey. We've linked you up to her website on our website, whas11.com. Reporting from Fraser Rehab, Brooke Katz, WHAS 11 News.